Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest and we are back in Above Snakes. And today, oh god, I'm not going near those. <laughs> today, uh, I have to finish a couple of quests. One is um, finding a holy water crate. And I believe that when I was at the church last time, just up here, I missed where that crate was. So I'm going to head back down into the basement and just really hope that um, that the big bad hasn't respawned. Now I'm just looking at these baddies here. Uh, let's see if I can take them out. It's been a little while since I've actually, whoops, I've actually played the game. So I'm going to be a little bit, oops, rusty as I say that. <laughs> um, so just bear with me. I believe I actually need to, whoops, collect some um, extra teeth so that I can make the last upgraded necklace. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do. All right, let's head into the church. Let's go down into the basement. And what I'm missing is, yeah, is behind here. So, hmm, there's a couple of scrolls with inscriptions. Should I try and pull them out? The one that says Luke 241, oh, 241 to 44, Proverbs 31, 6, John 2, 1 to 11. Now, I don't know anything about the Bible. Let's just go Proverbs. <laughs> okay, nothing seems to happen. Hmm. It says, let beer be for those who are perishing, wine for those who are in anguish. Oh, dear. All right, let's try this again. Let's try John. Oh, there's John worked. Okay. The text is mostly faded, but the last part says, and then he turned water into shine. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, God, we can't see anything in here. Oh, let's see. Can I? Oh, that's nice. Coins and some copper ore. All right, now here is what we're looking for. This quote unquote holy water beautiful all right well that was pretty okay i think so last time i unlocked this door and there was a giant skeleton in there i think i'm just gonna leave uh, leave him be at the moment let's exit out of here um all right, now where do I need to go to hand this in? Probably just back to Corpse Creek, I would say. I'm going to do something silly and just make a run for it across here. Oh, gosh, not in there. <laughs> Definitely not into there. Uh, all right, where am I? Let's have a look. Okay, I need to keep going over here, I think. I mean, I could be wrong. And because I have... I've lost all my sanity. I can't actually check, I don't think. Oh, good. We collected some rocks. That's very important. Um, let's go and see. All right, we'll just see the couple of townsfolk. It might actually be at the... Um, not the hotel. No, not this guy. Maybe... No, that's the hotel there. I don't think it... Can we go into the hotel? Oh, dear. Oh, we can, but nobody's here. Okay. Let's see if we can pick up some stuff on the way. Yeah, okay. Um, let's check in the saloon here, Bird's Bar. I don't think it's going to be there. Because we need to get, uh, fill up his stash as well. Hmm. So... It's not safe to go outside anymore since the lost souls started wandering around. No, okay. So it's not him. So let's head. Where am I looking? Um, let's try this one. And then if not, let's try the people in this, this tile there. Okay, so we've got this young gentleman here. 
I, I really doubt it's going to be him. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Jones. I forgot it was Mr. Jones. Um, no, he's not the guy. We don't want to do the most wanted because last time uh, I was really just very excited about doing all those most wanted quests and everything. But I found that I uh, just got way too, uh, to sort of distracted, I guess is the best word. So now we're just doing the main quests. Oh, that poor little horsey. What well, can I get some bones or, oh, horse hair. Oh, that's a green item. Nice. Okay. Oh, maybe we need to go and see the mayor. Hmm. Hello, Corpse Creek merchant. Oh, ask about bird's burner. I understand that you may have some liquor called Bird's Burner here. Ah, yes, good old Bird's Burner. I like uh, that barkeep and I've been doing business with him for a long time now, mostly getting his whiskey from him, for him. Hey, since Bird trusts you to get his liquor, you want to hear a secret? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, but don't tell anyone, huh? I, I get so many different whiskeys in my store. I forgot which one he liked. Ah, oh, I think I've read this before. Anyway, you were here to fetch his delivery, right? I've got a lot of barrels out back. You've just, you've got empty bottles, right? Just fill them up. All right. Do we have empty bottles? I don't know. Um, how do I get empty bottles? That's going to be interesting. I've got some tin cans. I've got a crate of bottles. That's the one. Can I, can I get up? Oh, that must be outside. Okay, cool. So we can do the bird's burner, which is very exciting. Is there a little crate? Oh, I need a key. All right. So we just need to go down here and fill up these bottles. So let's do that. Uh, why didn't I do that before? I mustn't have... Uh, <laughs> I just must have been distracted with something else. Gosh, that's the story of my life. All right. Let's fill up these bottles. Great. So there's Bird's Burner done. Oh, well, we'll go back and see Bird then. Do I have anything in my inventory that gives me sanity back? Because I kind of need it. Thirst, hunger, health. It doesn't look good. Okay. Nope. That looks like... <laughs> Uh, that's minus sanity if I eat a bone, which is stupid. So is the miracle tonic. No. Okay. So everything is a big fat no on that one. So let's head to see bird. We'll hand this quest in. We're actually pretty close to finishing the game. Uh, every time I load up the game, it tells me how far into the game mm. I've got. And we're in about 80%. So that's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to give him the crate of whiskey. Let's see here. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much, miss. You're a lifesaver. Now I can sell the best liquor in town again. Nobody's here, dude. <laughs> so I promised a bottle, didn't I? Here you go on the house. And hey, now that I've got enough stock, I can charge regular prices again. And you know what? I'll even give you a small discount. Well, that's lovely of you. Thank you very much, bird. Okay. Okay, so what about the mayor? Where was the mayor? The mayor's house is here. Let's go check out the mayor. Because I can't remember if he gave us the quest to go and uh, find the moonshine. So let's go back to the mayor. We'll head on inside. Everything still looks very trashed. There's blood everywhere, scratches in the wall, like Wolverine's been here, etc. Hmm. All right, so you've returned with a delivery, I hope. Okay, here's the moonshine. It wasn't easy, but I found it. Here you go. I thought I already heard the gentle ringing of bottles full of shine. So uh, much obliged, miss. Here, take this for your troubles. Oh, we got a gold ring. That's as pure as it comes. Oh, okay, let's ask him about his art collection. It took me a lifetime to collect all those pieces. It's... Uh, it's estimated to be worth, well, inestimable, uh, inestimable value. And that statement came from a professional appraiser, if I might add. All right. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've got this other quest. Who else spoke to the elder? I think what might be good is if I head on home so that I can take a nap and get some of the sanity back because I can't see absolute bloody diddly squat with this sanity gone. Um, but what did he, what did he give me? I kind of missed it. So there's the bird's burner. Oh, that gives a hundred sanity and minus 20 thirst. You know what? Let's just drink it because then I can drink that and I've got my thirst back. So that's a win-win there. Oh, it took away my health as well. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, cool. What's the new resource in here? Gold or I think I have some of that back at home as well. Um, okay, so find the man who visited the worlds beyond. I wonder if that's like the chief of the village. Did I check that village already? Can't remember. So we're going to do it. Uh, all right. What does it say? It turns out that someone else has been visiting these worlds beyond. Ordiner said it was a man that came from a village in the canyons, so it sounded. I should try and find him to hear what he knows. Hmm, a village in the canyons. Okay. Well, we actually have a little village in the canyons. Where is it? This one. A vol a Valeki village? I'm really sorry if I mispronounced that, which I know I definitely did. I'm going to head there first. So let's go to the traveling merchant here by the horse and see if maybe somebody, the desert merchant, see if maybe somebody knows what's going on. So where's the village? It is okay over that way. Let's head that way. Hopefully we won't. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, hopefully we won't run into any, you know what? I can't help myself if we're passing some of this ore, I need to mine it. Uh, I was going to say, hopefully we won't run into any lost souls, but we just did. And that was okay because we just basically ran straight past them. So whatever. Um, all right. So let's, let's ask this gentleman here. Hmm. Roz's brother, can I help you with anything? Um, I'm Rose's brother. I've been living here. The canyons are my home and my life. Um, okay. Rose is in her house. I'm not sure. Uh, this is not Rose's house, but let's just see if there's another person in here. No. Ah, okay. So, oh, a cooked meal. Oh, cooked meat. Oops, my bad. <laughs> All right, let's go and see Roz and then we might just have to head to town. I mean to my my home, sorry. May as well loot everything while we're here. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Bammy, hello and welcome. It's good to see you again. Ask about talking to the deceased. Have you ever talked to the deceased elder? Hmm, it's an it is interesting that you ask that. We indeed have our ways of talking to people in the beyond. Special tea or smoke are the most common used ways, but there are other ways as well. Why? Uh, but why do you ask? I'm going to tell him uh, about the meteorite. I touched a black and green meteorite and fainted. Then I spoke to a deceased elder. Oh, really? That is very interesting. I have not experienced such effects through touching an object, but the times are very strange at the moment. When you speak to those beyond, I assume they guided you as well. Who have you talked to lately? I guess a dinner was the last one. Yeah. So you've spoken to a dinner as well. I imagine you discuss the current events that are happening. The times are dark and weary and none the less because of those settlers. The mountains from which she sees far and wide are now swarming with settlers, blowing holes in rock and earth to lay down their metal tracks. If you ask me, those trains bring nothing but problems. I'm too old to act now and the world spins harder than I can walk. You, on the other hand, seem full of spirit and will. If you want, you can find the train station to the Corpse Creek, uh, in, sorry, in Corpse Creek and follow the tracks from there. Perhaps you can make sense of all of this madness. Okay, 
So to make sense of what's going on, Bami has asked you to follow the tracks that start at the train station in Corpse Creek. I hope uh, following those tracks makes me any wiser. Okay, so find the station and follow the tracks to the mountain. Ooh, okie dokie. So we've got a new map piece already. Uh, I don't suppose... Oh yeah, I can take a few more bits and bobs. <laughs> Don't mind me, just uh, taking some things as I go through. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's head home. I'm really pleased that I came back here to this camp. Okay, so I wonder what this piece of map requires. Hmm. It could be ore. It could be desert sage. It could be anything at this point. So, um... Nothing has required agave, but I can see some agave there. I mean, no, like no map piece. But so why don't I just try to take some of this just in case? I mean, you never know, do you? Um, What's that one? Is this like rocks? Oh, rope in that one. Okay. And what about this? Is this coal? Oh, there's clay. Let's take some of that. May as well. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? So we have, how many quests did we do this episode? Three already. That's pretty cool. All right, let's head back to the merchant and we're going to go home. Where's the merchant? Uh, Dadlo Desert Merchant. Oh gosh, she's all the way over there. Okay. Uh, and how many carrots do we have? Because five carrots, we need carrots to uh, use the fast travel horse. And I don't really want to run out of those because the map is absolutely monstrous at this point. Um, there's some lost souls who don't really want to wake them up. And uh, might as well pick up these bones and stuff on the way through. Okay. So, up, 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 up. This way. Okay, horsey, let's go home. My hitching post. Okay, brilliant. We can also sleep and save our progress as well. So that's good. Well, you know, I'm kind of uh, glad that I didn't just come home straight away. <sighs> Not that it really matters because, I mean, it's the same amount of carrots, you know, going from home as it is. Uh, anywhere else so but it was good that we were there we got that done which is lovely all right cartography table my friend what do we need oh bronze ingots great we've got those so let's research that one okay let's see let's pop this one down corpse creek is all the way over here hmm. oh okay i see now that won't work will it um, so the hitching post is there. Let's do it here in front of the mayor's house. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. So we have to follow the tracks. Oh, there's another piece that... Oh, we need luxury fabric. All right, Corpse Creek tracks. We're going to need those. So let's do that. Oh, that's a prairie. Huh. That's interesting. Technically, yeah, it does go on the prairie. Um, okay, so we need the Corpse Creek. Oh, hang on. Where's Corpse Creek gone? God, the map's all gone all topsy-turvy. All right, so I need to, yep, do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, there's even more. So we've got now Prairie and Canyons, Prairie Corpse Creek. Okay, Prairie and Desert. Maybe we had those already. Okay, but this unique. So we need luxury fabric. Okay, luxury fabric. I don't know about the tannery. Oh, it is on the tannery. Oh, that horse hair that we picked up was good. So that's one piece of luxury fabric that we can make. We need horsehair and we need cotton. 
Let's just have a little look at what we've got. Oh my gosh, even more bloody pieces. Jeez. <laughs> Let's have a little look at what's happening. Okay, that's obviously just going to come through with heaps more of these. Um, all right, luxury fabric. We don't have any in here. I might just keep everything on my, my tune. Um... What did I need to make it? I needed probably fabric. Let's just take a few more of those. I needed some, was it wire? I should, I really should look. Oh, well, look, here's some more horse hair. Okay, so let's just have a little look at what I need to do for the fabric again. Oh, we need cotton. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ink, horsehair, cotton. Okay, so I need to find more horsehair. Have I got cotton in here? One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so I can make another one. Horsehair. Oh, look, I can make a gunslinger's hat. But I don't want to use my fabric. Gunslinger's garments. Interesting. Okay. So I can't like make horse hair. That's a silly question, but it's worth asking. It's worth asking. Uh, okay. Where? Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's right. I've got to do it at the tannery. Uh, the tannery at the cartography table. <laughs> okay, so I need luxury fabric for that. Oh, that's why I need the wire is for the, the piece. This moderate climate. Now we have farmland lake. Did we have that before? Not sure. And a prairie with tracks. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it's worth me working that one out because I might need it I'm going to take a leap here and actually learn that piece and then we can put it down later if we want to all right we are headed no nowhere at the moment let's have a drink because <laughs> my tune is just not having a good time uh, all right fine before we head off let's just make a little bit more food because we are not going to have a good time if we are starving. All right, here we are. Uh, let's just, can we add a few of these bits? So oh, that looks horrendous. Hang on. Let's add three of those. Gosh, I don't know how much of this we can actually make. What can we, oh, get out. No, I don't want you on there. <laughs> No, the wheat is inedible by itself. That's fine. Get off. All right, let's do some corn. We'll do some mint. I don't know why I decided to put bones in there. <laughs> there we go. We'll add that one. Um, What else? Some coffee. What happens if I take the coffee out? Oh, no, yeah. All right, let's do that one. Okay, I think that's enough for now. All right, so I need to be on the lookout for some horse hair so that I can make another piece of luxury fabric. And that means that I can make that last piece on the cartography table. All right, we are headed to Corpse Creek. All right, now where did I put the... There we are. Okay. Oh, I'm very excited. This should be very interesting. All right, let's follow this track. We may as well pick up all the stuff that's here too. Can we, hello? Oh, it's because I put it away. That's good. <laughs> all right, cool. Some more coal. Uh, can we loot? This stuff here, there's some, oh great, there's some wire, that's that's good, we need that. 
If we could find some horse hair, here's some carrots. I'll take those. A bundle of carrots, nice. Okay, we're just about to change to nighttime, so I'm not overly excited about that. Um, but that's okay. I don't know why I'm taking an arrow, because we're not really using the arrows anymore. Oh, look what we've got. Perfect. Okay, so we've just picked up our last piece of horse hair that we need to make that other uh, cartography table piece. What's in here? What's in the station? Oh, there's a man in here. I don't know why I'm so surprised. Oh, look, let's uh, loot the box too. Oh, some flint, well worth it. Train station clerk, Lynn. Okay, welcome to Cox Creek train station. My name is Lynn, how can I be of service? Uh, what happened outside? Ask where the chuck leads. Ask about corpse grit. I'm going to ask where the chuck leads. That's a good question. The trucks are fairly new and the railroad company has only built so many miles of truck yet. The first stop will be the town beyond the mountain range, but at this time the trucks are not finished yet. As you can understand, the train's not running uh, to the end of the tracks at this time, but if you're an adventurous type, you can walk along the tracks to the construction site at the mountains. All right. What happened outside? Uh, the wagon is on its side. It is quite a mess out there, isn't it? It all happened that night. I remember it very vividly. First the sky cracked open, then the stones came down. I heard a massive uproar from the town, so I quickly went outside and locked the doors. Oh, sorry, inside and locked the doors. <laughs> then a loud bang and a lot of screaming, so I hid behind this counter here all night. Next morning, I saw what you see out there. Must have been a large mass of people that put that wagon on its side. All right, is there anything I should know about Corpse Creek? All these times, uh, well, these times a lot of crazy things are happening, but I guess Corpse Creek is never a quiet place. There's always some fellow or another in search of gold or fame. Else people come from far and wide to visit Bird's Bar. He's quite the character, and it seems that place never runs out of hooch. All right, cool. Thank you very much, Lynn. Um, now, it's not lost on me that it's coming into nightfall. But let's see what we can sort of search here. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, yep. Well, because we're at the prairie, we're getting a few more bits and Bob's from that biome, which is great. What about the train? That looks like it almost should be running. All right. So we can't go any further from here. So we need to go back and make that other piece of map, I assume. Put one more piece down and then perhaps the game will tell me that I can uh, put another piece down, but I wonder. Mm, so that's the mountains. All right. Do we have, I'm not going to put another piece of track down. It'll only just mean that we have to do yet another, um, make another trek, you know, um, through another piece of, of the map. So let's go back. Okay. Yeah. Here come the, the lost souls. We're going to go back to our horse uh where the hell is it that over there <laughs> uh, <laughs> i'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on all right so we're gonna go back to our place we're gonna make this other piece of uh what is it called special fabric can't remember what it's called um Oh, any cotton, that's okay. We've got that in our little storage container in here. There we go, two more of those. Let's do that, round back here. Nope, uh, wrong one, sorry. <laughs> this is the kind of professionalism that you've grown to learn on the, the love on this channel. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. The mountains. 
Beautiful. All right, let's put this one down. Ooh, that looks like mineable nodes there. Uh, okay. Okay, the origin. It looks like I need to enter the mine cave in the mountains to find the origin of the strange events that are happening. Oh gosh, I have to enter the mine cave? Well, that doesn't sound good. All right, let us rest for another evening. I probably should pop some of that stuff into the storage as well. Um, let's see. I wonder if I can transfer some of this stuff. Still not wearing any of the um, pieces of clothing that I've <laughs> managed to, you know, pick up along the way. Here we go. Put all this. Do I need the gunpowder? I'm going to keep that on me just in case. Gold ore and the gold bar. I don't think I need that. Let's just put that in there. That's all right. Okay, let's head out of town. Oh gosh, I'm starving and thirsty. All right. <laughs> Quick detour. Um, where are some huckleberries? There we go. There we are. And we'll get one more bush for good luck. I want the axe. Okay, let's make some food before we head off. We'll just make some of those huckleberry balls. Eat some of them. There we go. And then we'll be right as rain. All right, let's eat that. All right, cool. I'm very excited about this. Go into the mine. Hmm. I do have a torch on me. Probably will need it. I don't know. Let's just see how this goes. Corpse Creek. Let's go. Now I put the, uh, I put the tracks over here near the, near the mayor's house. Oh, I collected hemp. Oh, it must have been because my backpack was full last time. Okay. So we have searched this tile already. So this is our new tile. What is this? Is this silver ore? Let's have a go. Oh, I need multiple hits of this. Ah, silver ore. Okay. That's cool. Some more copper ore. Just want to have a little sneak peek over here first before we go into the mine. What's behind here? Some more silver. Actually, there's another piece up as well. All right, it must mean that we need it soon. Maybe to make the new mountain pieces? I don't know. Okay. Um, what if I go... Oh, <laughs> I 
can search inside the house. Well, it doesn't look like anyone's in there, but I think it would still be prudent for us to head inside. Okay. All right. So no one's here. Surprise, surprise. All right. Oh, there's a crate that I missed. Good job. Ooh. We don't have a piece on the other side. I don't know how this is going to work unless it's like... Oh, okay, it's instanced. That's fine. Um, all right. Is this the way I go? Yes. Oh, torches. Okay. So we probably need torches. Although it looks like I've got this glow about me. I wonder if I should just have the rifle out ready to go. I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. Okay, the game has saved, so that's not a good sign. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's water. Okay, interesting. Oh, this is super creepy. Yeah, okay. Why don't I take one of the torches out? There's some more wire that we need. Okay. I wonder how I get through. Oops. I wonder how I get through this large rock that's in front of the path. I don't seem to have my dog with me either. Okay, I can't go that way, can I? No? What about this side? No? Okay. Hmm, is there something that I've missed? What's over here? No, that's vertical. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, we are in the water. Oh, sugar. No, you know what? It's absolutely fine. Let's just... Oh, you know what's good about this? Oh, God, swing and a miss. Well done. Um, it's really good that the uh, torch keeps um, a light, even though I've got another weapon in hand. So that's quite a good thing. All right. Oopsie. Let's go this way. Mm-hmm. No baddies behind here. Oh, this is... I don't know why. This is making me feel a bit seasick. I'm not sure. I think it's because this water is moving. Uh, and also because I'm notorious for pressing the, like, turn camera button. <laughs> so I apologize to everyone. Okay. I'm going to go through here. Okay, interesting. Okay, here's another couple of dudes. That should be fine. Oops. Yeah, this is a better view. No? Oh, okay. You take two hits, but that wasn't a crit either, so. Okay, a common key. I'm going to lose sanity big time, aren't I? Oh, dear me. And health, apparently. All right. That's cool. What the? What on earth? Can you please just shoot the gun? <laughs> That's a crit. No, nope, one more. There we go. Oh, that's really weird. You can't see them with the water. So I wonder if there'll be a lot of these guys that are just sort of hanging out uh quote unquote sort of like asleep like dormant in the water i wonder oh look at this oh a bandage hello let's try that on oh that didn't give me much at all what are these runes do i have to light the fire 
What on earth is... Oh. Oh, I see. I've activated both my torches. <laughs> well done. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. All right, let's keep going. Well, let's have a little look around. Oh. Oh, that's uh, corresponding to these runes, so I, I'm going to have to do something with them. All right. What, what is it, though? Like, obviously, I have to light them, but how? Um, if I could put the torches back onto my hotbar, that would be awesome. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Well, that is very annoying. What if I stand on this? Okay. Don't know. All right. We're going to have to maybe discover that at the, a later time. Oh, shit. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, how many? I think I only have 16. Come on, bud. Let's go a bit closer. We can see him then. Oh, there we go. Oh, our torches went out. That's not good. Oh, silver pickaxe, silver ring. Okay. Everything looks blurred. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> All right. I don't know. What are we supposed to do? I'm not sure. There we go. Wonderful. It's beautiful. Look at all that. Should we get these rocks while we're here? God, why not? Huh. Okay. Well, I wonder now that we've dispatched of that, um, that ghoul, I wonder. Oh, cool. Okay. So I've taken care of that boss. Let's do this one. Okay. Where's my... That's the one I want. Yeah, all right. Uh, hang on. Where's my pistol? Or my rifle? Sorry. There we go. I gotta say, these uh, bosses were... Stupidly easy. Watch me get killed now. <laughs> A pocket watch. La di da. All right, let's get these. We'll go and open those doors and see where that goes. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I had a little look around. I might also need to eat something. Let's have another piece of this. Did I eat the huckleberry? There it is. There we go. All right, cool. Let's head back down this tunnel. And we're going to go through the doors of destiny. That's what I'm calling them now. <laughs> this is very cool. Oh, they're open. Okay, let's go. Uh, where's my trusty axe? Mm-hmm. Oop, not that button. <laughs> oh, look here. Here we are. Okay. All right, let's sheathe the weapon. It doesn't look good if I approach with the axe out. <laughs> All right. I think I want to speak to him first. We meet again. You must be quite surprised to see us all here. Yeah, I am actually. 
Uh, I don't know what to say. It happens to the best of us, dear. And you have proven to be the best of us. Okay, good. So allow us to speak for you now. Separately, we've been able to provide small forms of guidance, but now we decided in this fateful moment to speak to you in, in three. Here in the place of all places, where time and matter come together, my child, a forsaken event has come to pass. Oh, dear. You will note the mechanisms have stopped turning and all is set stone ever since. Huh. What mechanism do you mean? What we speak of is the origin of all. If it doesn't turn, things fall out of place. See how static the place is now? It is not as it used to be. Something was taken, the key that turned it all. And the moment it happened, the mechanism fractured and blew pieces to the hereafter. By that act, something bigger, something powerful has unleashed its wrath upon your world. Which you and everyone else have been, have been seeing the consequences of. Uh, after finding the last piece, we gathered here and waited until you would appear, and here you are. Take this last fragments. Once, combi once combined with the others, it should give true guidance like you've never felt or seen before. Let it lead you. While you will be here waiting, uh, while we will be here waiting, <laughs> waiting for you to return to restore order to what is broken. Okay. Oh, I've got all fragments. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's happening to me? <laughs> I've got, uh, my body is emitting some strange vapor. <laughs> it looks like the four fragments have come together. They started to glow and seem to point in one direction. Is that what it is? Oh my God, I'm glowing one direction. <laughs> I don't know why that's really tickled my fancy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Are we still going the right? <laughs> yes. It's still going in the right direction. Let's pick up these carrots in case we need to fast travel. I wonder where it's going. Is it going like to the mayor's house? This feels like one of those NPC escort quests, you know, when they just like won't hurry up. <laughs> it's trailing behind me. That's what it feels like. Okay, where to now? Are, uh, are you saying into the house or? Yes, it is the mayor. Okay. Let's have a look. Maybe it's one of his artifacts that he's collected over the years. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Here we are. So you have returned. What's the reason for your return? Oh. <gasps> Oh, ask him about the item above the mantle. What is the artifact above your mantle? Ah, that item I haven't put, quite put my finger on its use or origin, but it's uh, my latest trophy given to me by the president of the train company himself. Tell him you need it. Ask if you can have it. Ask if you can borrow it. I'm going to say I need it. I believe it's causing the plague to happen. I need to restore it to the world. What? Such insolence. I have never given anyone anything from my collection, nor shall I start for the likes of you. Now, you've done me a solid one by delivering that holy water. It fits my collection and it tastes to match its value. So I'll return the favour. I'll allow you to purchase it from me for 500 coins. It's yours. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's just... What else am I going to spend the money on? <laughs> <laughs> Let me count the coins. Wait a minute, you're short. I've never been so insulted. Get your money straight, young lady. All right, well, how much money do I have? Oh, 98. That is a little short. All right, can I haggle? Uh, I want to haggle for a better price. 300? 500? Oh, shite, you're kidding me. All right, suit yourself. My collection stays mine entirely. Ah, oh, shit. So I've really got to get 500 gold? Oh, um, okay. Well. Uh, all right, where's the merchant? Over here. I guess we start selling off our stuff. Does that sound like a smart idea? I reckon. Let's hmm. just try. Browse your goods. Okay. What miscellaneous stuff do I have? It better be worth 
<laughs> Better be worth a mint, I say. No, this is not going to work, man. Oh, although, not bad. We'll sell the teeth, I don't care. Sell the stupid books. Oh, we may as well sell the agave. I knew I picked up the agave for some reason. Let's sell all these common keys. I'm going to sell the monocular as well. Um, what else have we got? Do we have... What about all these bones? Yeah, let's sell all these bones. Three fifty-eight. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, a silver ingot is a hundred. All right. Well, that's gone. <laughs> sell the beeswax. Um. Hmm. We'll sell all these rocks. Look, we're almost there. Here we go. Some of these bits. Some of these bobs. Uh. Sell that. Okay. We need six. What the hemp? Oh, we need two. All right, just sell that one. All right, beautiful. Nice doing business with you. Let's go. I can't believe we need 500. Mind you, it didn't. Wasn't that bad getting there in the end, actually. I feel like my character is like really zoomy lately. Like she goes very fast when I press the shift key. <laughs> Okay, so, yes, I'm going to hand over the 500. Okay, it's all there. Go ahead and pull your belonging from the wall. The final piece. I found what seems to be the key to the ancient calendar in the mayor's office. I should return it to the mountain quickly. All right. Let's get it. Oh, sh sugar. It must be. Oh, my gosh. Strange rumbling outside. Man, that's going to give me a... I'm sorry for the flashing. Oh, dear me. That is... <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Got you. Right, so don't... Oh, dear. Yep, that's a big one. Let's go. Uh-huh. We'll be all right. Oh, shoot. Let's go. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> Alrighty. I wonder if there's going to be any baddies in my way <laughs> to surprise us. Okay, so we had to jump off, didn't we? What's that in there? Is that a barrel? Oh, nice. Okay. We had to go through this way. There were a couple of baddies here, but they look to have gone, which is good. So I kind of just want to get this over with. So let's head on in here and fulfill our destiny, basically. Oh, gosh. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Start the calendar again. Oh, let's move out the way. Perfect. Okay. The mechanism has been restored to its original form, making the ancient calendar turn once again. Date and time are in order and the world is back to how it should be. Even the rumblings outside have ceased and the sky has closed its cracks. All thanks to you, Ayana. You have helped restore order to the world. We've always known that choosing you for this task was and has always been the right choice indeed. I don't care why I was chosen. How does the calendar work? 
This calendar was built before time and space itself existed. Something you are bound by, but not, but when, but we are not. Sorry. We just when it just oh God when it was disturbed and its key piece taken, it stopped turning, making the world as you know it fall out of order. Look at the good you've done, Ayana. Not only have you helped us, but also so many others around you while you didn't have to. You found and helped the fisherman, Mr. Crude, who in return taught you how to catch all the fish you desired. The poor fisherman at the ice lakes would still be sharing his daily catch with the polar bear if it wasn't for you. You've helped those poor brown brothers with the fate of their old mother. And then you sealed it by killing her. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You must have thought that was the right thing to do. You've helped, you've even helped Bird refill his stock when he was too afraid to go outside. We're proud of you. Where industry wrecked and poisoned nature, you made the right decision and helped balance the world, just as it should have been. Don't mention that I built a mine myself. <laughs> Now you can leave the rest in peace uh, in the beyond. Thank you, and uh, and that we may see each other in another time and place. Oh my gosh! Oh well, that was that was awesome. That was above snakes. Um, guys, thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, this series I had a lot of fun it was really fun just putting the world together um, and really just uh, I guess discovering my own way through it I know that at times I had to look up some hints you know to just get a bit further through but I think that was okay I only did that what once or twice maybe the rest was just um, fumbling through and seeing what happened. So um, I encourage you all to go out and, and to get Above Snakes. I had a blast. So thank you again for joining me. My name is Smocks from Celebrant Quest. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next series on the channel. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.